All right, hello and good morning. Uh, my name is Gina Winchester and I'm a technology services specialist with Dean Norton. And today we're gonna to be looking at some key features of the Microsoft Surface devices. We're gonna be doing this from the Microsoft Explore Surface for Business portal, which I have shared on my screen today. And that's gonna be at explorersurface.com if you wanna follow along. So here on this portal, we'll see a whole host of service devices. And if you traveled here with me, feel free to click on any device that piques your interest and start exploring some of the features um, as if you have the device in front of you. So each one of these service devices is touchscreen, is Windows Hello enabled, meaning that you'll have facial recognition, um, you'll have uh, fingerprint scanner and pin capabilities, which allow for a passwordless sign on which is gonna keep users from having a little sticky note next to them with their password on it. Uh, each device comes with Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro, which has key security features like BitLocker for encryption, trusted boot, and Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox is gonna be a place for users to open up uh, documents or run programs in a space that's not gonna affect the rest of their computer. So keeping you and your devices secure from malicious downloads. Windows 10 and 11, um, sorry, Windows 10 and 11 Pro have capabilities for remote control from corporate IT, as well as corporate device manage, management and autopilot delivery. So being able to send the machine out of the box to a user and then start their delivery and um, corporate IT being able to manage what's on that device and what it looks like for the user when they first log in. It's important to mention that for all the Microsoft 365 tools like Microsoft Teams, sharing documents and collaborating within that platform uh, is all made easier with the Surface devices. There's a lot of integration and kind of natural working with Windows 10 and 11 and the Surface devices. So we're gonna take a look at this Explore Surface for Business portal and start work diving into some of these uh, devices. So at the bottom of this portal, we're going to see uh, the Surface Pro options. These are all going to have detachable type covers, which is what the keyboard is called. Um, so being able to take those off means that users are going to be able to quickly turn their powerful laptops into powerful tablets. So still maintaining a desktop experience or being able to turn it into tablet mode. We'll take a look at some of that in one of these devices shortly. Other than the goes at the bottom, the Surface Laptop Studio that's pictured in the top row and the device I'm actually using today, which is a Surface Book, also have detachable lap detachable keyboards, which allow for you to move from laptop to tablet seamlessly. You wouldn't have to close down any windows or anything like that, but quickly be able to use a device in a completely different way. So we're gonna take a look at the Surface Studio 2. So that's at the top left of this little portal that we have. So feel free to follow along, but if you've already clicked on something else, you're welcome to continue looking at what you want to. So this is Microsoft's um, kind of traditional desktop device, where the others are more laptops and tablets. This one's gonna be more of the, the traditional desktop. What's great about it is that it has this zero gravity hinge so if I click here and drag down, we can see how we can move this desktop laptop into something that's more ergonomic for people that are doing design. If that's engineering or marketing, um, they're gonna be able to use the Surface Pen to write on their screen in an easier way. They can also do that from any um, format that this is on. So whether it's laying fat, flat, um, or if we rotate this device and switch it up, we can have it at a slightly different level, which also makes it great for presenting as well. Great. With this one, since it is the desktop version, um, compared to their other devices, you are able to get the Surface Keyboard and Surface Mouse, which work together with it for a nice, seamless, easy working experience. And of course, many different colors. 
I'm also changing the color of uh, the pin here. And we have the blue and the black. All right, so I'm going to return back to the main part of the portal. And then Something else for me here. All right. The next thing that we're going to take a look at is the Surface Laptop 4. And we're going to take a look at the inside of it and how it contributes to lightweight performance. So it's great for mobile and hybrid work, so moving around or um, employees that are going to be on their feet, um, but still keeping powerful as if they were working on a desktop. So I'm going to click in on that Surface Laptop 4. Great. And once we have it load, um, I'm actually going to click the hamburger menu. So those three lines in our top right. And I'm going to do lightweight performance. And it's going to walk us through this path of explaining um, some of the T key technical specifications in this machine, which is going to be consistent among most of the machines here. So we'll do let's explore. And we can see the Intel processor, Microsoft and Intel have a partnership. So all of the um, laptops have Intel chipsets that use either i5 or i7 quad core um, and multi-threaded processors for great graphics and um, great multitasking to be able to do multiple things on one machine at a time, even in a laptop. So paired with that is the AMD Ryzen um, chipset. So working together um, with the Intel i7 or i5 processors. Again, a great multitasking and a powerful laptop and a very slim profile. So with all of that power, we can be concerned that our laptops are going to sound like they're you know, taking off to go fly across country, but with the thermal management in these laptops, we're able to have a whisper quiet running fan um, and be able to still do all that great multitasking if that's going to be doing what I'm doing right now, which is presenting from my machine and having multiple windows open at the same time. So with that, if I have a mobile device that's as powerful as it is that I can um, quickly turn into um, either a tablet or maintain in the laptop state. I want to make sure that it's going to last me all day and I'm not worried about charging my machine in the middle of my work day. So they do have this huge battery that comes with improved all day uh, battery life. So whether that's working at home, traveling between home and work or work in other locations, you're going to have an all day battery for everything that you need to do. All right, so we're just going to go through this kind of short demo to show you the multitasking that you can do. So doing Alt-Tab on a normal machine, Windows 10 is going to help you quickly go between your windows. Um, and so that's what we have displayed here. All right, so the next one we're going to look at is the Surface Pro 8. Um, which is about $100 more expensive than the Surface Pro 4. We're going to go up more expensive, then I'm going to show you that a lot of these features are actually compact and even smaller, more um, price sensitive device later on. But for now, we're going to go to the Pro 8 and look at work life balance, which is something that I think a lot of the world is worried about now with increase of working from home. So I'm going to click on the Surface Pro 8 here. I'm going to click on work life work life balance for it to take us through that demo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's loaded all of our wonderful features here, and it's going to take us through kind of a scenario. But I think a lot of us are used to if we've been working from home lately. So I'm going to click Explore. So your laptop is going to become your mobile desktop. So the same power and security that you'd have from a desktop, but in a laptop. So I'm going to follow the little steps that it has here. I'm going to um, 
using Windows 11, snap my um, Excel to my top right. And it's going to automatically choose my left side because I want to look at this Facebook page. It's helping me um, keep track of things that are going on in this scenario. I'm probably a marketing or salesperson. And then I'm going to open up OneNote towards the bottom. And then I can copy and paste my work from Excel quickly into OneNote while multitasking, having this all on the same screen. So in this scenario, the laptop is hooked up to another monitor, but you do have the same capability from your monitor on your machine. And quickly from working on a monitor, I can disconnect my hub, my Surface Hub, and pick up and move um, across my living room if I need to switch rooms, um, if I need to go to a different conference room, if I am still at work to present something or to a client location. Quickly move that and maintain all of my fast multitasking still on that device. And here we kind of have an example of the Surface Duo, which is Microsoft's phone that's foldable um, that allows you to continue work from your computer on an even smaller mobile device that's connected to um, a cellular service. I'm actually going to go ahead and skip that and you can see that um, I can bring up the same stuff that's on that duo. Great. So many of these devices actually have LTE compatibility, or you can get a version of it that has LTE compatibility. So that would be purchased through a separate cellular service that allows you for uh, allows users to continue working regardless of whether or not they're connected to Wi-Fi. So if they're at an airport um, or a client location where we don't want them to connect to public or uh, guest Wi-Fi, we can have that LTE connectivity instead. We're going to take a look at kind of our cheapest option, the Surface Go 3. Uh, so I'm going to click Surface Go 3 on my right panel here, and I'm going to go to explore this device. So we can look at it as if we had it in our hands. So we can see that this has a much smaller display which is great for people that are walking around um, and need to quickly switch from tablet, but they don't want a complete computer sized tablet. So that's a 10.5 inch screen. We also have the Surface Pen and Surface Type Cover um, here. And then this one is also that LTE Advanced. So being able to connect um, a chip in there for connecting to the internet without connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is still an option as well. So this one's one of the cheaper options starting at around $450 to $500 um, for a lot of the same stuff that we showed in those other options. It's also incredibly lightweight. Along with these devices for IT admins, what we're going to have is something called autopilot deployment. So from Endpoint Manager, and IT is going to be able to decide what is on these devices when a user first opens them. And then um, if I click Security and Deployment down here, I can do Autopilot User Experience and walk through what it would be like if I got this machine shipped to my home from my company um, and I'm opening it for the first time. So what this would step you through is looking at um, booting the machine, logging in with your work email, and then having everything that you need immediately there um, from Office. So I'll log in through this first. It knows that it's going to be me with my name there, and I'm just going to do the password. Then I would log in with my corporate email address and password. Okay. 
and then the device is ready to go from there. Great. That's all for this demo. Thank you.